To make interesting and efficient programs, you can make Pascal to execute a sort of program more than once. This is called looping, when Pascal goes through a part of a program over and over again. The for loops let you repeat a statement a specific number of times. Let's demonstrate the use of the for loop. First, I'll change this program to program looping. I've been using program welcome for a very long time, so I'll put looping. And then, I'm going to declare a variable A, or I, I like to use I. I'm going to assign that to integer. That I will be my counter. And then I'm going to use the for loop by four, saying for I, and assign this colon equal to one, two, five. It's supposed to do five times. And I'm going to have them to do right line. I am looping and I'm going to end this program. Let's compile this program first. Right, no errors and run it. And you'll see it showing up five times I am looping. Let's try the next thing again. What about us typing? I um getting a pass in IT. Let's execute again. A few changes number to ten. Run it. Look at it. Right. Let's put I counter here to see how much times it will look. Yes, it will give us a number in terms of it now because remember it's from 1 to 10. Eh? Let's run it. Alright, 1 straight to 10. Let's format this a little bit and run it over. Put a space. Let's run it afterwards. Okay, let me just amend this program and actually instead of declaring this thing hard in stone 1 to 10, let me ask the user to enter variable. Find out how much times it will loop. So you'll ask the user to enter how many times to loop. Right? And we store this in our variable n for number of times. And of course we'd have to declare this as an integer up here. N. Alright, and instead of saying for loop i equal 1 to 10, you say i equal 1 to n. Alright? Cool. And put this i in front here instead so we can actually see the number. Space here. And we take it out in the back. Compile the program. Successful. Let's run it. How many times to loop? You'll see. 100 times. Woo! You see? So you actually given use an input, an option to input it. Hmm. You know, I can actually put a colon here and put 3. Because if I say it 100 times, then uh, it will line up properly if I say 100 times now. So I'm going to compile again and run it. I put back 100. Alright. So it line up properly here now, before it didn't line up properly. I'm going to take all this, and I'll run it, 100, you see, it didn't line up properly, see it went across here, so there's an excel operation I'm showing you here, like if you wanted to loop 10 times, I could probably put 2 digits instead now, so you we'll compile, run, but then you need to use the number 99 times. See, it's lined up properly. Okay, let us do some tables. And delete all of this. All of this, we're going to delete. We'll keep the eye counter. 
do some multiplication tables. We're gonna do the two times table for i. We will equal and assign this one to twelve. It will be two times table. Right. And we will do height line. two spaces since it's 12, which is two fields, and we times it by two equal a space here again. I just show the time so now we have to do the multiplication of M times two. Format it with colon two to make it look neat. I run this program and see now. Compile. Oops. Get out here. And let's run it. And put M instead of I. Yes. Continue there. All right. I'll call that line up properly. Now you see, I realize why I put the um. The two to format in the back here because I would have it lined up straight, and the two in the front here to have it lined up straight. Because you remove them, you'll see the difference. This is just to show the alignment to be lining up. I hope you said formatted in Pascal. Let's go run it. See how entire you would look. See any difference? So entire you looking? When you put it here now, keeping two spaces now. You can actually use this to do any tables. You could times it by, you could do four times table if you want. You just have to change the four inside here. Yeah. You understand? And an easy calculator. Cut out now. Let try the next one. This time you will ask the user to enter the number. Instead of typing it up all the time. See the right line. friendly 
Yeah. Uh -huh. 